And good morning to you. Welcome here to the NBA 2K16 My Career Stream. Of course, I am DSA Death Andy589. Get my glasses back on here so I can see what the heck's going on. And get everything set. Everything's set up on my computer, blah, 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 you know the good old stuff. Hey, going to continue year three. Looks like we're going to kick things off with a road game against the it's Knicks. The UK Sports pregame show. Hope you had a good weekend. Enjoyed some more NFL playoff Johnson, games. If, I mean, Kenny the that's Jet what Smith. you for tuning did. In. <laughs> watching the NBA on Whatever you did, I hope it was fun. Moments that's away, how I spent my Indiana weekend. Pacers of course, had uh, work at the New radio York station on Saturday. And, the Knicks and uh, a then pretty much spent the rest of the weekend watching all the uh, various playoff games. Nine games. And an extra minute here. Uh, Shaq, one of the most exciting moves to watch in basketball. A slashing drive to the rim. Who would you say are the league's best I'm going to be slashers? quick because I'm not really a guard. I know Kenny probably has a couple things to say. Let me go with Russell Westbrook. To say that, uh, Cardinals pack, Packers game, that was a wild ending to that one. Larry Fitzgerald still has it. Wow. Maybe getting up there in terms of football years, but when he needs to turn it on, he can still do it. That's just a sign of a great player. Durant. And LeBron, you know, those guys, their mobility. I love how they you know, ended up James giving it to transition. him to let him okay. score the touchdown there after that long <laughs> reception he had prior to that. It was also an excellently, uh, excellently designed play, but I'm glad they he was the one who got that pitch in overtime to score the winning touchdown. Overall, yeah, it was a pretty good weekend. Uh, most of the games were were pretty good. Seattle certainly made that one between them and the Panthers interesting. This is Kevin Harlan joining me, Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and courtside Torres Burke. The Pacers will play just this one game on the road before returning back to Indiana. What a story right now for these guys. Win after win, it's been a phenomenal stretch. Yeah, and as far as the regular season goes, uh, this is as good. Who am I guarding right now? Truly, to me, is the definition of a rivalry. I mean, a game between these two teams. Has always, always the question with this game. Absolutely. Who the heck am I guarding? There's a ton of great games between them in the past. It's hard not to get amped up when they face each other. I've been looking forward to this one for a while. Here's the starting group for the Indiana Pacers. Moore in at power forward. George Hill out there with Gotta get acclimated to the game speed again. I feel sluggish for some reason, but that's probably just because I've taken a couple days off. So you gotta get used to everything again. And he came off that screen and the D just didn't get over the top of it. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge Greg, and when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. Ooh, nice. That was an unintentional screen. Offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Now, here's Mills. He's guarded by Hill. No good from Casper. Pacers have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Hill passes to Moore. Uh, nothing here. Hill. Probably could have tried to take Lopez off the dribble. They set the pick. Shot clock at six. Can't make good off the Ah, uh, I just feel like I'm running this. slow. He's going to knock those down. Again, that might just be me. Now Mills. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Toronto. And Aflalo kicks to Caspi. New York needs to get off a shot. And he gets it to go. Wow. Mills has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Two. Ellis against the Flalo. Pass to Hill. To the wing on the left. Moore dishes to Hill. Hill gets a screen from Moore. The drive by Hill. And Freak. There we go. To go on the assist by Hill. Caught me off guard Moore's by passing it to me. That was a 
Eagles an outstanding pick that gave him the room to bury the jump shot. Underrated, but not undervalued. Yes, we. Uh, Alice, come on now. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Two shots. Free throw drops for Gaspy. Let's just say, I have to hand it to uh, the Steelers wide receivers for Both stepping up in the absence time. of Antonio Brown. And, and here in the first, approaching three minutes played. They all did an He's excellent job. I think it probably would have helped if they Hills. had Brown, maybe Good. a little yes, more. I think what would have helped them more is possibly is having D'Angelo uh, Williams. A tough day on this defense if he's got the A game rolling tonight. That fumble is what killed him in that game. A follow outside. Pass to Mills. Fires the three. And the Knicks miss again. Well, that defense went from poor to no defense at all. And when he's open like that, you don't see him miss those looks very often. Now, here's more. In the game against Toronto, very impressive. It's back to Hill. Freak sets a screen for Hill. Shot clock at three. And a wide open look for Freak. Sploosh! On the money. Nailed really it. crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. There's the pick. Mills passes to Lopez. New York, no good that time either. But, yeah, I, I have to give a lot of credit to the Steelers receivers. They cer certainly showed off their the depth that they have at that position in that game. Superb playmaking from Monte Ellis. That dish was right on time. Mills, that's a two-pointer. And some very quick points for him on that possession. 153 left here in the first quarter. Hill dishes to Ellis. Ellis with a screen on Lopez. Uh. And Moore kicks to Hill. Lock at six. Outside Turner. 18 uh. feet. Up. It's nope. rebounded by New York. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to the Raptors. We just Come on. <laughs> they gave far too many free throws away in that game. Maybe it was the noise in the building or something. But oh, they, I was all over really the place on that out. one. Well, Greg, I don't know if it was Not the enough biggest speed. reason for that loss, but all of those misses from the strike clearly had an impact on that game. And again, another basket there for more. Huh. Okay, the key to getting open is to not be paying attention to the screen, so you run into the table, and then when you slowly make your way back the other direction, you get a wide open layup. Yeah, he was on the money, that's no doubt. That makes sense. Defense forgets about you because you're being an idiot and you're running into the table. Patience. Taking early threes is leading to long rebounds, which equal to transition points. Make the defense move. And let's pass up a good shot for a great shot. Let the game come to you. We're forcing the issue. Ah, here's a nice, weird, like, GoPro-ish angle of me. On their offense through Freak. Coach is looking for something special from him. He's usually not their main option at the offensive end, but it looks like he's going to be today. We'll be watching how these adjustments work. You mean I'm not the main offensive threat? Lies! Thank you very much. Lies! All lies! Outside, Lynn. More left side. There's 45 seconds left in the first. Left side, Lynn. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. Lynn's got his first yeah, I, I only average, you know, Knicks 25 points per game. Second in the Smith league in points per lane. game. I think I actually lead. Yeah, I lead the Smith. league in total points. Score. One up, one down. Two points with his <laughs> That's game. okay. I'm not the main scoring threat for the Pacers. Uh, sometimes this game, the audio cracks me up. Outside, Lynn. 
can't make good off the pick. And, and one. Ah. For missing that one after being freed up by a great pick. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, they came away empty, but they got the look they wanted, and really, I, I've enjoyed so I like the movement and communication there. And so more nails both of them. That's a familiar sight. He hardly ever what wastes is his Josh chances Smith at the line. doing back Cash there? Is, is he regular. planning on playing? Oh, well, what am I kidding? Is he planning on playing point guard? He always attempts Here's to play King, point guard. Defended by Lynn. Or a wing shooter. Wing. Uh oh. Here's Persingas. Can't Woo. tie it up as that one's no good. And a high scoring first quarter. Both teams really filling it up. Pacers lead by three. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. And Jeremy oh, has come a long seeing the way updated uh, from going in follower I count there. Say, you know, 92. Whatever, eight away from the road. Well, <laughs> on the road to 100, really, now. Eight away from like it. That, you are living the dream in their own very grateful way. Lynn has certainly seen the highs and the lows. And, and, and Kevin, not everyone's a superstar and, and certain of their future. Uh -oh. Sometimes you get to be a superstar for a brief moment in time. Yep. But this game has a way of humbling people, even those who started out humble, like Lynn. And off we go. A close game now starting the second quarter. And when you consider how the Pacers are doing, guys, what do you think? Uh, how good has the ball movement been here? Just absolutely terrific. Boy, that kind of time uh, passing really fun to watch. See if Olenek can hit a short Davis jumper. There we go. The All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. On the court for the Knicks. They've got Smith. Porzingis is out there with Kevin Serafin. Then it's Donald Sloan. And it's Cannon in at the one spot. Smith on the wing. Here's Sloan. Yes, Ooh, good thing he hit that because Porzingis got behind me. I mean, boo, he hit it! Or really, Porzingis got in front of me for the rebound, so he may have gotten a putback. I mean, I could have tried to block it. Well, that's a bunch of caroms, boy, for a 10 game stretch, Kevin. I mean, the opponents he's faced, it's not like they've all been bad rebounding teams either. That makes it even more impressive what he's done on the boards. Caspi, he's checked in for the Knicks. Flalo comes in for Donald Sloan. Dishes to Lynn. And the wide open shot from Stuckey. Hey, Clinton's rattles it home. The there we go. Stuckey's got the lead up to three now for the Pacers. Looking I'm looking to be a normal day today. It's, it's, been it's been a week or two since I've done a Monday it's afternoon stream. Tough. At least it seems like that. Here's Caspi. In off the glass. What I'm going to do, uh, still trying to figure that out. Uh, I know the Plant vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 beta uh, came out this weekend. I haven't really gotten a chance to play it. I know it's it says it runs until the 18th, but I don't know if that means it's already ended. Or if it runs through the 18th, which is, of course, today. Here's Cannon. It doesn't really say for sure, and sometimes those things vary where they say, oh, yeah, it runs January 14th through the 18th, or starts January 14th and goes until January 18th. Here's Caspi. Sometimes it means it runs through that last day. Sometimes it means it ends that day. Because he is so strong in the paint. Now let's send it to Doris from the sideline. Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against uh, I guess Rangers we will terrific. find out. Because, I, like I said, I'm downloading to see for sure. Just about any shot that came off the rim. Absolutely incredible numbers from him in a monstrous game. Appreciate it, Doris. Thanks. Well, we've seen a lot but, of great uh, players. But if it is, in games, fact, still open this afternoon, then we'll be in that. I really want to check out the uh, the beta for that. And if not, may just do uh, maybe some garden ops in the old one. To the middle. Nobody near George. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. Thinking about maybe doing some yeah, just some good old Plants versus Zombies Garden Warfare one. 
I'm coming right back with my own triple. Like I said, we'll see. Uh, hold on. My nose is running. Oh. Here we can get a good look at Indiana and what kind of numbers they've put up these last 10 games. First in field goal percentage. That's good First old three point nasty field goal percentage. And they're also cold weather outside. Care of the ball. Not many turnovers. Typical they Illinois. The possessions weather's like no fluctuating like crazy. You said it all right there. The hottest shooting team in the league. And, and that tells you not only are they shooting it well, but they're also focused. Really chilly day today. I know it's colder in other places. Like zero degrees, wind chill, ten below. Yeah. Smith with a screen on Hill. But of course, like I said, this cold weather is going to drive nose nuts. Smith up top, off the pick. The shot, no good. Pacers leading by five. Hill kicks to Moore. On the wing, George. Off the pick. Another shot. Moore Get in there. The bucket. Moore's got four points in the quarter. And, and that's a great play uh, on the backboard for him. I mean, it's what we expect. Yeah, today's definitely a uh, stay inside the warm house day. Smith with a screen on Hill. Here's Mills. No luck. And Indiana will go the other way with it. When and did my usual two and a half mile walk this morning. But uh, that's the only time I plan on leaving the house for today. No need to go outside in this cold. <laughs> yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good, the screen was solid, but you also have to look at the fact that the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. And to look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Pacers. You know what, guys? It looks to me like they're really in sync here, all on the same page. They've already got a bunch of assists. Shot. And also, they've gotten the three-pointer to fall tonight as well. That's equally as important. Looking at who's out there now for the Knicks. Zinkis, he's checked in for Casper. And, and one. And one. For Aaron Aflalo. C.J. Miles, he's checked in for Indiana. Guys, his consistency Woo! in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. For Indiana, they have gone two for two in the game at the line. And team free throw numbers really about as good as you could ask for. I'm on fire on the season. Guys, that says a lot about the poise of this team. I mean, he's on so fire. Cool and Is this the shoes? This I mean, Boom, shakalaka. Kicks to Mills. Lopez a screen. And again, it's the Knicks missing. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you can see the frustration. Ah, uh, NBA jam. They grabbed their own miss. More. Ah, uh, I should have backed it out of there. To I was to trying too much there. Here's Mills. He's got seven. Once I'm Porzingis, I'm not going to move. Kept alive. Goes up again. Good work defensively by Turner. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. Here's more. No, that's well short. I should have kicked it to Miles. He actually had and an so open that shot. That's me trying to do too much. Oh, well. All right, the second half beginning in just a moment. You look at Freak in this game. He has been everywhere. Of course, coming up this week and you're going back talking about the NFL games. In those first two One goals, last classic Tom Brady versus Peyton game. Manning matchup. Yeah, before, who knows if Peyton Manning will be back next year and even if he'll be contending for anything. I know of which I speak. 
those guys that rebound effectively don't give up on it. This may be the last, really the last year we we see a Tom Brady versus Peyton Manning. Of course, historically, we all know that the uh, games have gone in favor of Brady. But who knows? Maybe this will be Manning's year. Beat the Patriots and go on into the Super Bowl and end up winning it. Go up out, go out on top. So one for two that time at the stripe. Indiana leading by nine. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. On the wing hill. Ah, uh, Hill. Bounds as the next game possession. And really just a lack of awareness on his part. Just no idea he was right near the line. Astro Flalo. Lee Pass was put in just the right spot. Flalo's got his second basket of the night. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Freak sets a screen for Hill. And the rebound goes to Lopez. <laughs> Stop him, block him. Seven. And Mills kicks to Caspi. Plays it up. Whoa, that was a weird move. Caspi's got his third bucket of the night. It's like flew to the basket there. And a moment now to look at the numbers. Oh, I skipped the coaching directive. Oops. About 12 points a game, four assists, and three rebounds. You got it. And Get this the is the kind of strong, steady play you like to see. He's earning his keep and helping them win games. And guys, they're finally getting the consistency they wanted to see from him. Look for that to continue. And George, here we go. And the nice for first layup. George has got seven points in the game. Took advantage of some shoddy defense there. They've got to at least get a finger on it. Here's Cannon. He's guarded by Hill. Cannon dishes to a follow. And it's off from three range. Yeah, but there's it's time to jump a little bit there. Hill passes to George. Second shot opportunity. And got it. Freak with the layup. Moore's got 19 Shh. points. He's got a great read of where <laughs> I am so is going good. In. That allowed him to be the first guy to it and get the putback. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Feeds it to Seraphin. Just his first attempt. And there's another yeah. one for Impressive. the Yeah, it's just a smart shot. Just a little jumper there. Of the mismatch. Well, with a stroke like that and the height advantage as well, the mid range J is almost a gimme. And Moore kicks to Hill. Back to Moore. The dish to George. Drains it. Nice. The George has got the lead up to 10 now for Indiana. Love when my teammates hit their, uh, hit their shots. On his own. Give me some assists. Mm. Taking a look back over the last month, Kevin. Let's see how Indiana stacked up. First in shooting huh. percentage. First Free throw percentage is awful. All right, I guess it's still fifth best. Taking care of the ball. Not many turnovers. They value possessions like no other. My you free throw percentage right is the great. Hottest shooting team. In the league. Pretty much and that tells you <laughs> the one keeping it up there. Well, but they're also focused on creating terrific opportunities for one another. Not only is their lead big, but their advantage on the boards is huge too. They've been the aggressors, plain and simple, outworking them, fighting for every loose ball. And it's in. Bucket. And their solid play in the paint continues. Woo! And 2,500 fans conferred. Conferred. Like fans conferred. Yeah. In terms of creating those fans. On the not inside. fans. They not converting any fans. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Teardrop shot. It's oh, Jeremy Lin coming up with the swat. Stucky kicks to Moore. And 
Good got it. By Just got it to rattle home. For freak. Excellent ball movement there, guys. And that's keyed this run. Passing it with purpose. The D hasn't been able to keep up. Cannon dishes to a follow. New York, no good that time. That either. would be mine. And it's Indiana's ball. They've got a 12 2 run in progress. Lynn the pass to Moore. On the wing, Stucky. He's got five. Shot clock at five. Lynn from long range. It's rebounded by Ah, uh, I had casting box out, but I couldn't 15. get it over Pazingas. Or Zingas. Pozingas. Yeah, I mean a cold offensively. They desperately need a basket. Here's Cannon, defended by Lynn. Cannon kicks to a follow. A follow with another miss. You know, he's been off his Ain't game this for that. just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. There's the feed to Lynn. Back to Moore. With Wide shot. open look, but can he hit it? Lynn's nope. <laughs> shot is off. You know what? You just cannot get much better of a look than that one. Exactly. I mean, no way you expect him to miss that shot. Ah. Speed with the bucket. Now there's something for the top ten highlight reel right there. A layup can be just as sweet and as pretty as a dunk sometimes. Woo! Lynn dishes to Moore. The basket good off the assist from Lynn. Just took him out. Lynn's got three assists tonight. Nice hard the screen there, and send him Kevin flying. Continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly, just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Here's Seraphin. Hits the front of the rim and out. I don't know why I'm throwing that up to Stucky. And as we end the third quarter, a double digit deficit will make it tough to come back. George really wasn't all that open. And we're getting underway here in the fourth quarter. The scoreboard tells the story in this matchup, but we'll see how much things change up here. Now, here is Hill. Smith out there with Porzingis. Then it's Mills. Then it's Donald Sloan. And it's Lopez in at the five. Oh, no. Oh, so I was not expecting Ellis to cut there. Mills. That cut off their Sloan. fast break. He dishes it to Mills. The three pointer, no good. Pacers leading by 15. Get the ball inside. Hill kicks to Ellis. That's good from 17 feet away. Okay, that works. Ellis has got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for Indiana. Ellis can really turn it on at times. To the paint. Ah. And defensively, they are on their heels. Every that was, time that was lazy defense on my part. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. The drive by Hill. That's good. And the D is having problems stopping the mid-range jumper. They're not really closing out on them as much as they should be. Six of their last ten points have come by way of the two-pointer. Sloan dishes to Mills. Shoots it up. And the jumper falls. Oof. I mean, they're 15 points behind, but the Knicks are just kind of lurking there. A couple stops, a couple big shots, and they're right back in this. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. Indiana leading by 15. I know we're supposed to take time off the clock, but... Ellis has got three assists tonight. Just carrying the load. How do you right argue with a chance like that? He is not wasting any chances. From where I sit, Greg, it's a simple deduction. If they want things to be easy on themselves here late, make sure he has the ball. Mills can't hit. For Indiana, they've uh -oh. got all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. That's his first personal foul.
And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for Indiana. They keep piling up the assists, and they haven't cooled off at all. Another thing they've done tonight is work the ball into the paint for plenty of those close-range points. You got to have those. All right. Let's make this another shot. Come on, Hill. No nope. Second free throw. Knicks trail by 18. Here's Lopez. Hill with some nice D. Indians and back and forth we go. Point land. 15 points and a deep ball for them tonight. Man, that's it's close, but you know that'll take care of it though. Quick enough. Yeah, and as quick as players are at this level in this day and age, I mean, you've got to be perfect in your anticipation to draw the charge. The Pacers making a change here. Miles has checked in. It's okay. That's the second time someone has cut, and I was not expecting it. And the rebounding has been key to their success here tonight. It has been a lopsided battle on the boards, no doubt. Got that one up quick. Nine points for Montana. Gotta read my teammates' oh, movements they are better. The hammer down. A huge lead right <laughs> now. Yeah, and it doesn't matter if we're talking about their offense or their defense. I mean, it's all been good. So far in the game for Mills. It's all right, all right. Shooting foul. Helping of assist as well. No doubt about it. He's the, conductor, the band leader, Clark. This offense has really performed at a high level. Caspi, he's checked in for Brazil. Blarg! And both free throws good for Mills. Oh, it was worth a shot. leading by 18. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. Hill passes to Moore. He kicks to Miles. Yeah, I don't know where Miles exactly is going. Five to shoot. Back to Moore. All sorts of time. Lucky bounce? Nope. Caspi. Most of the time, that shot. No out, lucky bounce at all. Defenders have to make sure they tag. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. And Mills kicks to Caspi. No one near Smith as he lets it go. Drills it from outside. Ah, whatever. Spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. Now here is Hill, covered by Mills. Moore left side. Good, the assist goes to Hill. 30 points for Freak. Strong work for him at the Seems offensive end. My internet Helping is not wanting to work to maintain today. that lead. Mills dishes to Lopez. Here's stream is really buffering for me. Robin Lopez. That is his first foul of the game. But that's probably just me. George is checked in for the Pacers. Jeremy Lin comes in for Hill. Indiana leading by 17. It's hard to monitor, though. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. Now Lin. There's the screen. And George, here we go. And the rejection by Smith. Here's more. Well, get in there. Whoo! time, but they finally get the bucket. Moore's got 32 points. All right, still taking, needing to take time off the clock. We can do that. I think we can do that. And so here is New York, trailing by 19. Beyond the um, and that one's good. You know, he's knocking down his shots heck? today, but it hasn't really translated to the scoreboard. Okay, that was weird. I was stuck. Another field goal attempt since the start of the fourth quarter. Outside, George. They set the pick. Ellis kicks to Moore. Back to Ellis. Shot clock at six. That doesn't go either for Ellis. For New York, they've gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth or of nine. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the Pacers. 
And Clark, we got to see a display of offensive prowess in this one that got it done. High scoring game. Oh, that's going to be a nice dunk. Oh, never mind. Passes a little delayed. So take a look at their record, a nice milestone they'll be picking up tonight. 30 wins on the year now. And so this victory tonight will give them the front end of what I believe will be a knockdown drag out season series, folks. They win the first of all. So no problem for Indiana as they get the win. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient ah, performance. It's a pretty good game to start the stream. And that'll do it, folks. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. And coming up next, the postgame show with Ernie Johnson, Shaq, and Kenny the Jet. The sports post game oh. show. Not the internet. It's probably just my cruddy old laptop. Welcome back, everybody. Ernie Johnson here, along with Shaq and the Jet, as we present our Jordan Player of the Game, Freak. You know, Freak was a 4.0 honor student growing up, and tonight that high IQ is one of the things we saw on display with that sensational performance. Combine his smarts with the fact that he lives and breathes basketball, there's no doubt that he's one of the most intelligent players we have in this league. Well, his ability to get into the paint and get to the rim was dead. This laptop's well, getting up there in the the shooter, years. It's remarkable how many of his points came right at the bucket. And that brings us to the end of our broadcast for this evening. For Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and our illustrious 2K Sports crew, this is Ernie Johnson saying good night, and we'll see you again soon, but not soon enough. To do do. Okay, advance that. Alright, what do we got here? Buzz, buzz, buzz. Ooh, a movie premiere. Don't mind if I do. Let me check, make sure everything is good there. Yep, okay. Booster active. Have any attribute upgrades? All right, time to go home and play the team wolves. Ernie Johnson joined by Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Thanks for tuning in. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Indiana Pacers against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Getting that up to 25.9 points per game now. The Ricky Rubio! Against them in the regular season, looking to finish with a split. And tip-off approaching, but in the meantime, let's discuss post-play. Shaq, you were a dominant post-scorer. Duh. Uh, who do you think are the top post-scorers well, in the uh, NBA one, yeah, right DeMarcus now? DeMarcus Cousins, 25-13. You know, can go inside and go outside. He's a little frantic at times, but he's up there. Zach Randolph, he's got great feet work, nice soft touch. Feet work. Big Al Jefferson, uh, Zach AKA Randolph, Baby one of the greats. He does everything with his right hand, yeah. so he's so good. That's all he needs. And Brooke Lopez, nice size, nice touch, and nice feet work, too. I know you say feet, feet work is work. not a I don't know if he'll work, you can't do go down as one of the greats. Footwork. You need both feet. So, Dr. O'Neill, name it, feet work, put it in the dictionary, shut it up. Okay. Well, you know what? The guy who reminds me of Shaq a little bit. 
Nicola. Demisio, thanks for yeah, the uh, follow. Stop it. He's got someone yeah. you out your mind. He overpowers guys. Stop I mean, he's it. like a little. He's definitely, though, one of the uh, under underrated players in the league, Zach Randolph is. No, I've said that before, but... I'll say it again. <laughs> I'll say it multiple times again. I, I think it's he's an undervalued player and underrated. I, I think he's one of the top power forwards in the league. He's certainly in the top five. It's dipped down here, you know, because of age, but what player doesn't? Home court in this one before leaving Indiana. These guys are hot, no doubt about it, continuing to put up win after win. And coming off their championship last season, uh oh. Success, I believe, carried oh, that sucks. Into this one. They played at a high level all year long and stand poor. Wow. To make that took me way time. down. It certainly looks that way, Greg. I mean, some teams go through a little bit of a malaise or a hangover after a championship. Not these guys. They've had a terrific year. And checking out. All right, well, this is not a good start to this game. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Erickson. Then it's Chris Middleton. Then there's Towns. And it's Rubio in at the point guard position. Now, here's Rubio. On the wing, Wiggins. Paul George with the steal. Yeah, there we go. And up the court come the Pacers on the break. Good team by Rubio. Don't know why we settled for that shot. First quarter of play. One minute Everyone was grouped around there. Towns from 12 feet out. Can't get it to go. And it's the Pacers taking it the other way. They are coming into this having notched a win against there the There we Knicks go. In the last game. That's <laughs> much, much better. The numbers, guys. I mean, what jumps out at you is the balance they had offensively. Very satisfying road win because you're right. There was tremendous balance displayed. I mean, the crowd was basically stunned at how they were able to dismantle that defense. Here's Wiggins following the basket by Freak. Here's Erickson. Another miss by Minnesota. There's and Hill. Here's Indiana. Last time they met was in Minnesota where they beat the Timberwolves. Yeah, and last time they faced off really an easy win. They put together a pretty complete game, but their edge on the glass for me still stands out. Yeah, I agree with you. The, the numbers shout loud and strong. I mean, a major scoring going early. Get, <laughs> get back up to the, the C plus. <laughs> and let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. I was able to talk with Cliff Woo! Thomas for a minute. He told me that they're just reached out for that one. Game going up against a team that's certainly capable of filling it up in a hurry. But he said we can't get so carried away trying to score with them that we get away from playing tough, gritty defense. If you slack off even a little bit, they These can. These teams have really definitely caught on to me. <laughs> we'll see if they can strike the right. Like every time I touch the ball, the almost immediately I'm being you. double teamed. Okay, Doris, appreciate the report and coach's plan here tonight. A good one, guys. And I agree with him. I think he's determined not to let the opposing offense dictate tempo. And I think that is a good game plan. That's the only plan, really, Greg and, and Kevin. I mean, they cannot allow that offense to run wild. This game has to be played on their terms. I mean, it does help me rack up assists, though, because generally somebody's left open. It's usually the rule of thumb. And the layup's good off the glass. Wiggins has got his second basket. I tell you what, you better watch out, fellas. He is on fire here today. Pass to George. The feed to Moore. Ah, By just Jones. couldn't score on the double team. Fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. Now, here's Rubio. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10 and a half points a game. That's good. Boy, that was a rugged screen set there, fellas, and the defense didn't even try to go through Oof. that. The Pacers have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Hill passes to Moore. They double him with Wiggins. Oh, that's not who I wanted to swing it to. Ah, oh, dang it. Now it's too late. Okay, well, things started off well here. And now they've gone horribly wrong. Now, Towns. He's coming off a 16-point game against Denver. Wiggins kicks to Towns. The Timberwolves shooting their first. Uh, dream, yes, I am on Xbox One. Free throw missing. 
So an entirely new group in now for Indiana. Turner's checked in for Olenek. Hill comes in for George. Rodney Stuckey's checked in for Monte Ellis. And it's Jeremy Lin in for George Hill. Indiana trailing here. Moore outside. There. Freak sets a screen for Lynn. Back to Moore. Shoots off the screen. The there we go. Off the assist from Lynn. Uh, I'm a 90 overall. For Freak. Timberwolves shooting it from their comfort zone so far. In this one, 57% from the field. Pekovic with a screen on Lynn. Jones the pass to Pekovic. Stolen by Jeremy Lynn. And a fast break now for the Pacers. And the shot is good from Stuckey. Nice easy lay. Now we're starting to get back on track again. And really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. The last five trips they've had have ended with a great pass leading to a basket. They're really sharing the sugar. More with this. I'll take that. Uh, Could have run the fast break there. It wasn't really that much, though. It's Hill on the wing. Indiana moving it around. Stucky with it. Jones covering. Hey, look, no one's still guarding me. Come on, bounce, 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 bounce. Woo, finally. Rim, but it sinks right in. Uh, I will pass. Uh, I don't really guys, play multiplayer on this, mostly because I'm not that well, good. So I usually just <laughs> stick to my career. Ooh. Tell you what, he's not not an easy see him. He blends in with the floor. On the His jersey's blend in. Has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Did he just go chop chop there with that one hand tomahawk slam? Here is Lynn after the basket by Nice. Minnesota. There we go. With the bucket. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last 10 points have all come off assists. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Jones from outside. No good. Some solid defense there from Lynn. Four up top. Inside, Turner. Can you get it? Nice. Good contact. Turner's got his first points in this one. I like the fact that he led his teammate right to the ideal spot. You don't always should say good absorption of contact. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Pacers? You know, it's been a great display of team basketball here thus far. Five guys, five fingers working as one. This beautiful. Oh, I let him go right around me. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, hmm. as the second quarter gets going. A stronger defense than that. They got Andrew Wiggins. He's out there with Jones. Matuma's out there with Pekovic. And it's Guzman in at the four. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have? Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Knicks was superb. He dropped uh, 32 nope. points. And as always, piling up George can't get the lucky bounce. As well. It was a performance for the ages and one that will have the whole. Thanks for the great report, Doris. Uh, guys, uh, the way he carried them that night, I thought was truly <laughs> unreal. I mean, he was literally on another planet in that game. He did it all on the floor. Well, what is Pekovic even doing right now? To play with here tonight. I mean, his legs still have to be a little heavy from that last game. Lynn kicks to Moore. In the corner, George with Whoa. it. Whoa! Talk about jumping a from pass. He took good advantage of that screen. George has got the lead up to seven. Flew now by Indiana. there. You can't afford. Luckily, he to missed get it. That kind of a look. Well, you know, he came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you've got to do a better job of fighting over and through that. And Minnesota has possession. Here's Ah. Uh, Hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch layup. It looked like that was going to be blocked, but then he pulled the Houdini act. Lifted in for the score. Lynn dishes to Moore. The basket good off the assist from Lynn. Lynn's Too easy. He assists now in this one. Nice pass there to set that bucket up. And that's 10 of their last 12 points that have come off assists. Now here's Pekovic. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. And the woe for this quarter continues for Pekovic. Here is Miles, defended by Batum. George. Elbow shot. 
straight to that time from Pekovic. Yeah, that wasn't going to go in. Maybe if he'd taken it back the other way, kind of gotten away from Pekovic. That might work. You everything right, Greg. They executed. All you want is a good look at the basket. Sometimes the shots just don't fall. The Pacers pull it in. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this quarter. And more kicks to George. Nice move. And it's nice. Beautiful George pump fake. Got four points now in the quarter. He presents a defender with a serious challenge. Always. Wiggins outside. Pass to Guzman. Uh oh. The Timberwolves again Woo. can hit. That's not a sight you see very often. I mean, he has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when he's open. With the floater, and there's the nice layup by Lynn. And now an 11 point pacer lead. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Giant heads. Just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Good old fashioned coach. Take a peek at the league leaders in scoring. Freak number one. Yeah, yeah I have jumped Irving finally. Scoring is no small feat. He's out there every night giving it his best, and the effort is definitely. So an entirely new nice. group in now for Indiana. Kelly Olynyk checked in for Turner. Solomon Hill comes in for George. Ellis is checked in Hovering for Hovering just like point two, point three behind him at Lynn. some points. Now here's Middleton. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. This have jumped him for now. Outside. They set the pick. Lock at six. Let's a floater go, and the shot is good. Not bad at all, Mr. Rubio. So the Timberwolves coming to this one after the win against Denver. And the way they attacked the basket in that game was unreal. I mean, after a while, the defenders seemed to just wave the white flag. Yeah, like you said, I mean, that's what will happen when a team continues to attack the basket and come away with layup. The defense uh -oh. tends to get demoralized. And Ooh, nice strip. One way to stop the fast break. Outside hill. Took him no time at all on that one. Hill's got his first two points of the night. That's leadership. Really, really valuable to have someone who can just take charge like he has. Well, there's a certain amount of confidence you have when the ball is in his hands at that end of the floor right now. I mean, he just gives you a sense of calm and confidence because of how good he is. Rubio misses. Well defended. Rebound totals are a little low. Start crashing the glass more. Very well. Hill kicks to Olenek. A tomb with the steal. Yeah, that was not wise. That's foul number two for him. That's his second personal foul. If he gets another, it probably puts him on the bench for the rest of the first half. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Larkins checked in. I got a little play a little more careful outside. now. Here's Erickson. Hey! Oop and he gets it back. Goes back oh! Out. oh. So it looks like the Timberwolves <laughs> will retain possession here. <laughs> Hey, would you like to be blocked again? <laughs> There's 48 seconds left to play in the first half. And Rubio kicks to Middleton. They really haven't been able to get on track this quarter. I mean, things have just been out of sync for him. And he gets the bucket. A nice quick two points back quarter. the other way. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. And Greg, you know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Now here's Middleton. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. That's right. Don't go for the, the steal. Be careful. Don't want to get Six called to in for reach and foul. The Timberwolves need to get a shot off here. Rubio misses. Boo -ba -doo -doo -ba -doo. Oh, at the buzzer. Oh, almost becomes bigger. They are playing with purpose. There's the right buzzer. Guys. And they're doing it at both ends of the floor. Well, last that's second. That's what you shot. like to see. They've been controlling the accents Better from both for that ends one. of the court. And we've got a way to absorb some in contact the in the lane there Pacers on the drive. Out in front. Well, 
Ricky, what does it say about this team to have such ah. great productivity from the bench? And what does it do for you guys as a unit? It's amazing. That means like we are we have a deep bench and then a lot of work from the staff, from the from the everybody of the of the team, like doing uh, extra work and winning games. Well done, Ricky. Thank you. Got Yeah, we'll see if that changes here. Yeah, we'll see. So far, he has been everywhere. It's been about his ability to just. But some of the past games the had with the Pacers. Know that sometimes we like to we like to collapse in the second half. That reach he's shown, Greg. Teams get back into it. Fantastic in getting to some of these shots. I mean, he looks like he's got telescopic arms out there. Boy, he's in at the four spot. Ellis is out there with Hill. Then it's Paul George, and it's Olenek in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the group starting the second half. <laughs> Frank Vogel. Rubio trying to out rebound me. To the miss from it's adorable. Towns. And more kicks to Ellis. Shot from the wing. Okay, Over Ellis, calm down now. Awesome defense. I mean, he'll hit those unless you're right in his grill. The shot by Middleton, wide open. Finds himself wide open and drills it. Middleton's got the first basket of the third quarter for the Timberwolves. Got it. There's a screen. And it's Hill penetrating. Got a hand on it. Uh. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's Wiggins. That's in. Coming off an assist from Rubio. Well, I said something about how we like to collapse in the second half. That's terrific sequence. That's exactly what I'm talking about. They block the shot and recover it for the fast break finish. And let's check out the stats for George. How's the last month of basketball been for him? Putting up about 10 points a night, two assists, and two rebounds. Solid numbers, the kind of production we expect. And frankly, I think he's wow. got another level <laughs> to take it to. Yeah, he definitely has the skill set to put up even bigger numbers. It wouldn't be a surprise to see that in the coming days. Here's Ellis. Shot misses. So Minnesota will take it the other way. <laughs> That's not how you want to kick off the second half with three straight misses. Here's Wiggins, and he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Wiggins has got four points this quarter. Pacers leading by nine. Freaks has a screen for George. He dishes it to Moore. Uh, Towns comes with a double team, and Moore kicks to George. Oh, oh, he to still managed place. to get it. Wow. George I thought eight. I was throwing These that one away. look overmatched right now, especially inside. Well, they've given up 10 of the last 12 points from close range. So I'd have to agree with you, partner. The story of rebounding. Now a look at the league's best players on the boards. Freak is second. Without rebounding the basketball, that's what has made him such an important part of what they do. Catching up on the changes doo, now for doo, Indiana. Doo, doo. Oh, oh, and immediately I let him right to the Sunday lane. Comes in for Ellis, and it's Jeremy Lin in for George Hill. The Pacers have gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming on the lot with the break. Shots good by two. Nice, good find. Defensive breakdowns are starting Some to quick show points up now. There. The last four buckets allowed have come from very close. Get us out of this yeah, little bit of a slow start. What they are getting in terms of the attempts, and that's just not going to get it done. They've got to figure it out. Here's Wiggins, following the score by Miles Turner. And good on the basket. Book it. He's got nine. Boy, such okay. outstanding patience and impressive for them offensively. Absolutely. They're ball Just ball like ball this. Standing and they're piling up. Easy yes. to run around Pekovic Boy, there. Slick job of passing from Jeremy Got a step on him. Uh-oh. This one for three. And the wow! Has been cut down now to just seven on the basket from Dang Cooper. it! I gotta get That's two on straight him more. quick three pointers they've allowed. Defense just not reacting with enough aggressiveness. Moore right side in the corner. George with it. George gets a screen from Moore. Lynn kicks to Stuckey. 
Here's Moore. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Okay. Moore's got four points. Now, fine, Guzman. Yes. Shooting has really helped them seize control. Count that one. And really the scoring. All right. Well, apparently nothing works. Charge, doing all he can to bring He's activated back. God mode, and I am powerless to stop it. George dishes to Lynn. Over to the wing. There's the three. And three gets it to go on the assist by Lynn. Lynn's got his sixth assist on the night. Ah, get on my way, Lynn. And here's Jones. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. George against Batum. Wiggins left side. From 17 feet out, and the rebound goes to Go, the good board, good box out. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. And one, and one. Them in their next game in Detroit. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Larkin is checked in for Jones. And, guys, and of course he can't convert. The scoring breakdown so far for the Pacers. Fantastic passing. We saw it in the first half, and it's carried over here in the second. They've consistently drilled the mid-range jumper tonight as well, which has forced the D to come out on them. A shot by Batum, no good. Pacers leading by 12. Left side, Lynn. Here's more. Ah, the mark I tried. Three point shot. Minnesota's gone two or three when they've pressed my luck the on that in one. the third quarter. Outside for Batum. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Indiana's gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. No good from Moore. Wow. Okay. Timberwolves trail by 12. So should have stopped a step or two back. Wiggins passes to Larkin. On the wing, Wiggins defended by George. And that one's good. Wiggins. Wiggins has got six here in this quarter. Showing the quickness right there. Just tough to keep up with it. Freaks has a screen for George. Oh, and that one. There we go. Spin on it, and it is good. Much, much and the better. Pacers lead by 12. And he came off that screen, and the D just didn't get over the top of it. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge, Greg. And when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. A shot by Batum, no good. Now here's okay. Lynn. Screen Back here or not. And it's good nice. The officials may want to look at that one on the rebound. Oh, he got it. Well, we so thought good. the third quarter Don't was bother over. looking. It turns out the officials are going to review the play to see if he released the ball before see? the bus. Quick, easy review. And, and And thanks again for joining us. Let's see what happens here in the fourth. Pacers leading by 14. And so in the game for the Timberwolves. Ricky Rubio is out there with Chris Middleton. Then it's Wiggins. Then there's Erickson. Woo! And it's Towns in at the five. Great job of utilizing that screen and finding space to knock down the jumper. Good basketball. Rubio, the pass to Erickson. He kicks to Middleton from deep. It's rebounded by Indiana. And that's the battle. I guess everyone's they just looking to shoot. Today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Seems like nothing yeah, no but stretch fours them. on them. Looking to battle back. That's one of the key elements. You got to rebound. Dishes at the hill. Ellis goes in. Good, and it's Hill. Nice. It there we go. Didn't have any problem knocking that one down. Another defensive lapse leading to two more. Timberwolves trail by 18. And Rubio kicks to Towns. On the wing, Wiggins. Shoots off the screen. Rebounded by Moore. Moore's got that. seven rebounds in the game. You got it. Ball inside. Hill against Middleton. There's the pick. Kicks it out to Ellis. There's the three. And that one. And Spaloosh. And, lead by 21. and thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. 
Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid <laughs> off the basket so far. Timeout call, but Rubio and Hill wanting to battle it out. We need to calm down. We're taking too many shots early in the clock. Let's get some ball movement and run something on the offensive Patience. End. It's Patience. Simple. Let's throw it down inside or run some pick and roll up top. And now Doris Burke has oh, you didn't do the patient speech. I guess it's a different dial set of over the plan with his team. Dialogue. He said their plan was run their offense through Ooh. Wiggins. Coach reminded them that he came to the right back to the timeout again. He still wants to see that happen. Likely the final major changes to their game plan as they try to make a late comeback here in the fourth. Kevin, back to you. Apparently Thanks we just like Doris. taking timeouts. Indiana leading by 19 points. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. Outside hill. Move the ball and stick it At the elbow, it's free. Ooh, that's not exactly where I wanted to cut with that. It's stolen by Hill. Now here's Hill, the fast break. Game sometimes decides for me what I what I want and what I don't want to do. On the wing hill, covered by Rubio. Here's the screen. The offensive rebound. Moore. Ah, there we go. That'll work. That one is on Towns. Complete domination. What a game for free. He's got two rebounds and two blocks. He's been an intimidator down low. Yeah, that possession helped me get to my double double. It's like that. He's just in a total zone right now. We talk about zones for shooting. This guy is in a zone in terms of controlling the paint. And Indiana making a change here. Miles has checked in. Rubio, the pass to Towns, feeds it to Wiggins. There you go. Pin him in the corner. Ah, don't let him freeze. With the rebound. Got rebound this it works two. anyway. Got it. You've got to give them a lot of credit for the job they've done on the backboard. They've done a lot of things well today, but really it's about what they've done on the backboard that's at the top of that list. For the three. Olenek can't hit. All right, Olenek. Trail by 21. So he wants to get out of and three point shooting. It's probably one of the reasons why our three point shooting percentage is down this year compared to last year. We got Olenek chucking up shots left and right. Effective here in the second half. Kicks to Moore. Um. Wow. There is not a lot of options here. Pass to Ellis. Except for right there. And the Pacers lead by 21. Not phased at all by having a bigger defender on him down low. And I really thought he would be. You know, at first glance, you wouldn't think that he'd be comfortable in that particular situation. But, boy, I tell you what, he didn't look like he was out of his element at all right there. I'll bring it up. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. And more Bunched out of bounds there. Ellis outside. He feeds it to Moore. Yes, and it's Ellis <laughs> picking up the assist. <laughs> Advantage of that height, height mismatch. Tonight. And that's exactly how they've gotten the lead right here. Easily. Of course, I always love picking up 2,500 fans at home. As simple as it gets, he's hitting everything he's looked at. Keep feeding the fire. The drive by Rubio. Ah, uh, should have stepped over and swatted that, that one. For the fancy finish for us there, man. That was sweet. Pacers leading by 21. They set the pick. Hill gets a screen from Moore. Hill, no good. Well, uh, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated. Should call for the pass team. after that first screen that was set. Uh, to go on the assist by Rubio. 16 points for Andrew Wiggins. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance the for the Pacers. Inside. A beautiful pass doesn't always get you on the highlight reels, Clark, but there were some spectacular dishes in this game. Yeah, it was a team that was What the really heck was that? Each other and took the right shots. And so taking a look at their season record, this will be win number 31 on the year. And huh. with this win, Where? it gives okay, them a sweep them. of the season series, even though it's just a brief two games. I tell you what, Greg, no matter how brief it is, anytime you can get a season series sweep, you're happy. 
and what a huge standout performance it was for Freak. Every time he shot it, it seemed like it was going to drop in. And if it didn't, everyone was surprised. Again, missing <laughs> Hill. Timberwolves on offense. 19 points. Better game. off taking that shot when he first got it. Hill against Rubio. Pass to Erickson. The jump hook lands soft on the front of the rim and drops. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Clark, and they can just let the clock run out here. No argument with that W. I can't just let the clock run out here. It's still four seconds left. Or there's a four-second difference between the two. Now on the next possession, we can let the clock run out. As they get ready to celebrate a W. Well, let the party start. The celebration. But it looks like the Wolves are just going to do that for us. So no problem for Indiana as they get the win. They poured it on tonight, Clark. A dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. I don't think they have anything right, boy, but positives play. to take away from this win. Hey. Offensively, defensively, every aspect of the game. Ooh, coach satisfaction was a little low on that one. Well, all night long you were able Oops. to control the glass. A visibly winded warrior here. How were you able to get so many shots that came off the iron? Uh, you know, I try to be like being interviewed in the post game. Don't have this happen all the time. You know, as long as I butt my guy, throw my bounce a little bit. I can start to head over grab boards. I know it's a big part of what our team needs, and I'm happy to provide it. You simply can't get enough of you. Thanks for joining us. Kevin? All right, Doris. Great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching. Now we send you to the award-winning Ernie Johnson, who's standing by in our studio. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Hi again, everybody. This is Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Time now to present our Jordan player of the game. Freak. Just a monster first quarter of the game. He came out hot and just never cooled down. That boost he gave his team early on a huge factor. He was dead on from the field tonight, guys. I'd call his performance economical because there was no wasted opportunities. He took advantage of every good look he got. I mean, everything he put up was going in. Just a sensational performance on a lot of levels, Ernie. Too many levels to talk about. Man, in some game, he's in the background. He doesn't get the chance to be the star of the show. But not tonight. He's the star tonight. Put him on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And, folks, that's it for us. Thank you for tuning in. Always a pleasure. For Kenny the Jet Smith, for Shaquille O'Neal, this is Ernie Johnson. Have a great night. Total games played as a starter in my career. Accolade unlocked. Play sack with Gordon Hayward. <laughs> okay. There have been some weird connection events, but... Uh... <laughs> oh, this one has got to be the oddest. Alright. <laughs> Play hacky sack with Gordon Hayward. Uh, yes, I do have a YouTube uh, channel. It's, um, 
YouTube doc, blah, 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 youtube.com slash DSA Death Andy 589. So same as my uh, Twitch username. Uh, there's also, you can find a link down below in the channel info description section. Um, there's stuff down there as well. Uh, there's a link down there as well to my YouTube channel. Ah, uh, sure, why not? Where's wait, where'd Kobe go? The two K Sports preview. Seems like I just played the Pistons a few games ago. I think Hello, I did. Hello, and welcome to the NBA on Two K Sports. Ernie Johnson here with my course, esteemed they are colleagues, division Shaquille rivals, and Kenny the Jet Smith. Play them off. <laughs> we'll be watching the Detroit Pistons as they go up against the Indiana Pacers. For Indiana, they have been a team on a mission this season. Best record in the NBA. We're getting mm, deep into the schedule now, up 100%. and they continue playing dominant basketball. Let's look back over the, to the midway point of the stream a little bit on a delayed on my laptop. Some of the veterans who nice started slower. Well, now, good thing I'm they working well with my uh, team chemistry. And see, I'm up to 41st on uh, veterans, jersey sales too. Season is a little money. rising to the top. Then as you start seeing the light of the tunnel, they don't pace themselves anymore. And you want to? I'm going to get that, that number one jersey sale to make something special happen at the end of the year. Excellent use of the word mundane, well, mundane. by the way. How about you, Chef? Mundane. Welcome to 2K Sports Live Saturday night coverage of the NBA. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, this is oh, 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 oh staying alive, staying alive. I don't know why my mind went to said Saturday night. My mind goes to staying alive. I've really stopped trying to figure out my mind a long time ago. Yeah, I had the chills watching that. It really was a nightmare. It is a strange place. And get punished by some very hot shooting. They didn't challenge the shooters. They didn't defend the shooters like they should have. And once the fans got into it and the arena started ramping up and cranking up, uh, it was over. Here's the starting group for the Indiana Pacers. Moore the and a fast break dunk. There with George Hill. Then it's Paul George. And it's Turner in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And that's how you take the steal and turn it into a transition opportunity. I think that's the perfect time to do it, Greg. I mean, those few seconds after the turnover. Ooh. Strike right oh, he got it. Because the defense has no chance to get organized. Kicks it out to oh, Jensen. that's There's funny. The three. Uh, they get it back. Wow. Holy smokes. This guy can rebound. Again, and he sinks the layup. Defensively, nice. that possession better not start a trend because they just okay. him two points. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Stan Van Gundy had a moment to share with me. And, of course, he said a big key for them will be trying to minimize Monte Ellis's impact offensively. He added he's one of the best in the league at blowing by his defender and finishing at the rim. Oh, George. Oof. And then at the other that. end, make sure we go at him defensively and see that he expends some energy there as well. Kevin, defense not Ellis's strong suit seems like a smart plan. Thank you, Doris. Here's Meeks. Paul George. Just in case he tried to shoot that, you know, to scare him a little bit there. Intimidation. Nice ball booming by Detroit. Five on the clock. Shot from the wing. And there's the call on Andre Drummond. Woo! Good box up. Get that over the back foul call. Yeah, he was boxed out and tried to get the rebound the only way he could. Yeah, he got straight over the back and on top of him there, too. So nothing subtle about that one. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. Outside Hill. Off 
the screen. And again, it's Indiana. Four makes on four tries. Everything's falling early. 100% can't do better than that. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. Oh, George. Paul George with the foul. Come on now. First foul. On the wing, Johnson. Defended by George. Johnson goes in. To the paint. And Drummond throws it down. Boy, that was a violent throw down there. You're telling me. I mean, it's almost like he doesn't like the rim. Freaks sets a screen for Hill. Four outside. This one for three. Ah, uh, I should have gone to Ellis. That's your first miss of the game. Strong start. Ellis would have had a better shot at knocking that down. Johnson in the corner. Wide open look. The shot is off. So the Pacers will take it the other way. They're coming off that win against Minnesota. How about the athleticism on display? And one. <laughs> we get it to drop. Yeah, it was reflected in their shot block total, Greg. I mean, they were very disruptive, which I think is a combination of hustle and muscle. The Pacers shooting their okay, first free throws. Take some night. shots from the line here. Anything to help Indiana boost my free throw percentage? And get back into that and it's Jeremy league leading George category. Well, as far as the league's big we'll check that go, out after this game. Kind of see where we are after three more well, games. He had a 12 point outing in their last game against Cleveland. Ooh, nice poke away. He made by just generating contact, getting to the line was outstanding. Woohoo! He picked up a jump for joy. At the strike. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Yeah, shots falling off to a very good start offensively as a result. Dishes it to Drummond. He got Ah! I was trying to get that block. He sets his man. I wanted that block so badly too. And then gets the basket. Ellis in the post. Johnson's there. Ellis, the pass to Moore. Back to Ellis. A three ball. Rebound by the Pistons. Oh, Tough loss get it. coming against Cleveland in their last game play. Throughout the first half, even into the third quarter, they had the game totally under control. But man, it just fell apart. Collapsed. Okay, cannot leave Morris open like that. They should not have lost this game. You know, I, I really think that they thought the game was over. And, and oftentimes, as soon as you start to look ahead, you lose that momentum. And then you can't recover. And that seemed to be the case in that one. They get it back. Tries again. Uh, oh, Chiz. Well, the was there, but just couldn't quite fight his way through traffic. Feeds it to Henderson. Drummond sets the screen for Henderson. High arcing shot. Johnson kicks to Drummond. He hits Henderson on the wing. Oh, okay. My guarding arrow was going all over the place right now. And the shot count <laughs> is fouled. It's a chance for a three-point play. Yeah, exceptional play there to take the bump and still get it to fall. I like okay, to call need to lock things down here because it suddenly is not going well. Possibly could out of that play. Nicely done. <laughs> Good call. Here's what Detroit's going with right now. Pachulia, he's checked in for Drummond. Aaron Baines comes in for Johnson. And it's Vasquez is in for Brandon Jennings. Stucky drives inside. And there we go. That one drops. You can't afford to get him that kind of a look. Well, you know, he came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you got to do a better job of fighting over and through that. Now, here's Vasquez. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. How in the world did they let him get Okay. Five seconds, separating the shot and game blocks. Lynn kicks to Moore. Fires the three, and he gets it to go. Moore's yeah. got nine. Just wanted to stare Zaza in the face a little bit. Hey, Mr. Rai Rai. Here's Henderson. A look at his stats. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Moore is a screen. Moore with the steal. 
Half court shot. Ooh. A nice first quarter of play. We've seen plenty of offense so far. Indiana out in front. They lead by two. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter. Probably would have been more if we play sloppy there in that first quarter. Welcome back, folks. We have a close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. And when you consider how the Pacers are doing, guys from a defensive standpoint forcing a lot of oh, wow, inside baskets yeah, I will try fans, Greg, have produced a number of steals early they've been very aggressive and a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor all fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter on the floor for Detroit they've got Pachulia Vasquez out there with Jody Meeks love when I can time that perfectly and jump that passing Bruce. route well Kev Freak in the last match against the Timberwolves was just a man on a mission. He finished with 27 points and was his usual self on the glass, grabbing just about any missed shot that came off the rim. Just numbers that really jump out at you in a box score. Great job, Doris. Thank you, guys. It's going to be very interesting to see if okay. he can stay in a role like that tonight. And, yeah, I mean, sometimes those hot streaks can last for days, and, and, and I'm sure they're, they'll be feeding him the basketball, hoping he's still got that mojo working. Well, they ought to. I mean, when you've got a thoroughbred like him, I think you've got to ride him for as long as he'll carry you. Clock is at three. Woo, and good steal. Nice On up the court. And it's nice. Say, so, I made the first half court shot that I've ever taken the other day in this game. Nice. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle sticks for the Pacers? <laughs> Boy, they've really amped up the huh. pressure. They didn't get rid of Drummond. He's just the on the bench right now. Zaza's just his backup. They've been able to cause some turnovers tonight, and, and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum. It's stolen by him. Unless they got rid of him on your team. Kicks it to Moore. And the I've only Stucky. managed to hit a half court shot in practice. Outside I've Hill. never actually hit Fires one in the a game. Three. And the Pacers another three. Yeah, again, just a lackluster transition defense. And seven of the last ten points, Greg, they've surrendered, have come off the fast break. So real easy to see what the problem is. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Frank Vogel addressing his team. He said their plan was run their offense through Freak. Coach is calling on him to play a big role in the offense for the rest of this game, to really be one of the key guys for them down the stretch. Well, Coach, not wasting See, there's Andre Drummond right there. The game plan. We'll see if it makes a difference as we approach halftime, Kevin. Thanks a lot, Doris. Jennings for three. Shot is off. Pacers leading by nine. Here's Ellis. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's not. Uh. And for the Pistons, they're shooting 43% from the floor. They need this one. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Hill. No good. What is with this? Okay, what are we, what are we trying to do with that first bucket here in the second quarter? Jennings against Hill. Jennings kicks to Drummond. The shot's good. Jennings making the play. Jennings has got three assists tonight. <laughs> That's been a big part of their offense in the early stages. I mean, their success working the ball inside. Yeah, no, uh, Zaza's just the backup right the here. Oh, they still have Drummond. Keep doing it. I mean, attack the basket until the defense makes an adjustment. And, and that's why it's so important to really be a good screening team. You get a lot of open looks from it. There's the screen. Launches it. The shot is off. So Indiana will take it the All other right. way. They'll be hosting Orlando for the next one. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. And more kicks to Hill. Back to Moore. On the wing, Ellis lets it go from deep. And the Woo! Pacers another three. Boy, they've gone on this Good run. Ball, ball movement, movement there. has been a big key. It, it really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their passing. 
Now here's Jennings. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Morris is checked in for Detroit. Henderson comes in for Meeks. Indiana also making some changes. Olenek is yeah, I guess for, for the, the most comes part. In for Monte Ellis. And it's Jeremy Lin in for Hill. Except Zaza is not at the same skill level that Craig Monroe is. Here's Trummond. Rebound by Olenek. Pacers leading by 12. Freak sets a screen for Lynn. Inside. Oh. The bounds. Pacers ball as Indiana keeps possession. And there before you are the teams that have been absolutely red hot for the last 10 games. Number one, the Pacers. You have to be impressed with their shot selection. I mean, the discipline on that end and the unselfishness really is what allows those great numbers to show up. Back to Moore. Six on the shot clock. Olenek dishes to Moore. Ah! Oh, just wanted to take a turnaround jumper, not a layup. Fall. Pistons trail by 12. Morris with a screen on Lynn. Jennings passes to Morris. Drummond a screen. Henderson kicks to Johnson. And here's Jennings outside. Good as Johnson with the assist that time. Jennings has got it back down to within single digits for the Pistons. Here's Olenek. And fouled. All right, all right. We'll, we'll get, get to the foul there. Too. And, and a chance here to look at the numbers for Jennings. He's averaging 14 points a game, seven assists, and two rebounds. And his playmaking really stands out, making his teammates better offensively with his terrific passing. Yeah, he's outstanding at controlling the tempo. I mean, keeps the ball moving and, of course, finds the open man. For the Pistons, Aaron Baines, he's checked in for Drummond. And it's Vasquez in for Brandon Jennings. Kicks it out to Vasquez. Three-pointer. Rebounded by Moore. Moore's got his third rebound on the night. George dishes to Lynn. Moore outside. All sorts of time. And that one's All good. sorts of time. That's the, the greatest of all time. <laughs> Boy, what a slick job of passing from Jeremy Lynn on that one. Now here's that sure, game. maybe if you were compiling the list of the greatest all-time serviceable screen. bench centers... He might, he might make the, the list there. Anderson's got five points so far. Great job of utilizing that screen and finding space to knock down the jumper. Good basketball. More up top. He had a 27-point outing in their last game against Minnesota. Here's Lynn. And a game Ooh, nice. Indiana. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. Greg, they keep pulling up and watching them go down. It's a really nice thing to see. Oh, oh T. Nye, Gerald Henderson. T. Nye. It's the Pacers ending the second quarter with a tremendous 17 to 7 run. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the sideline. Doris? Monte, you guys had very active hands out there, and your defense seemed really to drive your offense. Uh, we know if we get a defensive stop, we're going to lead the offense. So that's going to be our main um, focal point is um, defense and get out and run. Got to love a fast-paced team, Monte. Thank you. Kevin? Thanks, Doris. You're welcome. See if that gap narrows down in the third and Ooh. fourth quarters. What a game defense. we've seen here. Play defense. He's got 11 points and two steals. That kind of ah, defense is optional. What wins you basketball games. Clark, it's a rarity when you've got a guy that could just do it as well as he does on both ends. Checking out the group for Frank Vogel to start the second half. Moore, he's in at power forward. Ellis is out there with Hill. Then it's Turner. 
and it's George in at the three spot. Woo. Off target with his thing. Well, that's clearly a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look at. It. No doubt about it. You cannot let up defensively just because he missed that one. Now here's Jennings. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. Boy, I tell you what, the complexion of this game would be completely different if he'd shot the ball anything like he's capable of. Now here's Moore following the miss by Jennings. Moore passes to Turner. Ooh, that was risky. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Turner's got the first the near turnover there for the Pacers. Pistons trail by 14. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they panicked need a, basket a little bit. Just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. Hey, they got the shot they wanted off of that pick, but it just doesn't fall. Yeah, it didn't go down, but you'll take that shot every single time, Greg. That's. Good offense. Now here's more. Good. Ah. If I didn't pause that and been more fluid in that motion, that probably would have gone in. And he uses the glass on the way up. Finally, they get one to drop. That's one of their first four here in the third. I didn't pause it because I was looking over and saw that the stream had kind of frozen. It wasn't buffering on my own personal computer. It just kind of frozen, and sometimes I've noticed when it's done that in the past, that means the stream has completely cut out. So before I got too far ahead in the game, I wanted to pause it and make sure that wasn't the case. One of the league's best, third in free throw percentage. And this is a set of players that can drive and slash, hoping to draw contact, because if they can get to the bucket and the foul, it's gonna be a three-point play the hard way yeah and I tell you what I think even if they get whistled for a fair number of charge calls because of that aggressive mindset um, it's worth it when you're an elite free throw shooter and these guys are I think you've always got to be aggressive in trying to get the yourself colds the affecting my internet a little bit quick break in the action here's some numbers for free averaging about 26 points per 12 rebounds and just over two blocks all around brilliance for him lately and, and guys he's really taken his play to a Zaza time sure has. I mean game by game you can just see the confidence growing he's put up large numbers to prove it yeah the offense scuffling a bit to start Ooh, nice and one for the first five and they're beginning <laughs> to just flat out fall yeah I've blown out the right uh the especially Warriors the in the past yeah, as well four straight field goals now Greg they've allowed from point blank range can't happen and Indiana making a change here. Definitely they don't play the same as their oh, real life Jennings. counterparts. Drummond sets the screen for Jennings. Looking to get back on track here. Rebounded by Moore. Moore's got six rebounds in the game. You know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far and the wide open shot from Stucky <sighs> Stucky Indiana again missing Pistons trail by 16 Jennings with the ball Rodney Stucky cover it Jennings kicks to Drummond sir he's guarded by Hill back to Drummond And two for oh. the and this is that one. Drawing the whistle on a lot of contact there. It's gonna be on freak. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you could hear the smack all the way over here where we are. Detroit shooting oh. the second and third oh, free throws I, tonight. Oh, that's and right. They did get that free throw them. percentage on the season. They're, they're right Forgot around about 73%. And comparing to the numbers of last season, they've made a bit of improvement. So that's some positive momentum they can look to build on. Morris is checked in for Detroit. Henderson comes in for Meeks. And Indiana with a change here, too. Jeremy Lin, he's checked in for Hill. More dishes Slowly to starting to Lin lose interest in real life NBA because the Bulls are playing so horrible. Ah, uh, go Jordan. right back up with that. Morris against Hill. It was such a bad team. 18 feet away and he knocks it down. Told you if it wasn't for Jimmy Butler the other night, they would have been blown out by the 76ers. 
Here's Turner. Ha! Unintentional passes. The, the defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. Pachulia. Shots oh, look at that drive by Pachulia. How about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. There's the pick. Lynn, that's a two-pointer. But they get it back. More outside. And they got it. it last on, on a tenth number three. Moore's got four points this quarter. Oh, no. Houston's Jimmy Butler is the man in Chicago, but the rest of that Jennings team sucks. <laughs> like I said, if it wasn't for him in that game against the 76ers with Rose and Gasol both being out, if he wasn't, if he ended up not playing, they would have gotten blown out by 30 points. Actually, f <laughs> 30, 40, 50 points, maybe. Lynn against Jennings. Lynn kicks to Moore. And Hill has it in the corner. Sinks the triple. Ten points for him. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with. Jimmy guys. Butler's one of the only in. bright spots on that team anymore. Drummond with Bobby Portis, I think, will eventually be the future the starting power forward, forward. But the problem yeah, is the getting him playing time. Of course, with Noah Dunn, and if they trade Greg, Gasol and Gibson, that won't be much of a problem. Hand. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. Indiana shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. And how about as a group, 80% on the season? Oh, I, I think he is. And I I think if it wasn't for it being Kobe Bryant's final season. year, I, I mean, think Jimmy Butler would be starting in the All-Star game. The line. Here's what Detroit's going with right now. Aaron Baines, he's checked in. I honestly think he Johnson should be starting in, in the All-Star game, but fan votes are ridiculous and, and missing, rigged anyway, there, so. Kevin, but <laughs> overall, they're getting slightly out-rebounded. And that's a good place to start if you're going to try to find your way back into this game. Get to work on the glass. Here's Ellis. I guess maybe not so much rigged, but ridiculous. It's He's all really popular vote. For him to miss when the I don't really right, care right for right the format. It. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. And thanks again for joining us. Let's see what happens here in the fourth. And so here is Indiana. 17-point lead, their biggest. We've got Vasquez. He's out there with Jody Meeks. Johnson is out, the, out there with Aaron Baines. That's the group. I mean, I don't mind them right having now. a fan vote to have like a player's choice team or a people's yeah, choice team. But in terms of like actual NBA All Star, like the actual team, it should be based on performance and selected by like a professional committee or by owners and coaches. That open on the perimeter, a good shoot, and a kick out the only choice. Got it. Hill kicks to Moore. Olenek the pass to Ellis. Down low, Olenek dishes to Moore. Uh, I guess the bounce. Bucket. Moore's got 21. He's played yeah, I'm sure they're the there. If I haven't really looked much at the roster in that, but you know. There are guys that are well more deserving to be on the all-star team, but like I said, because they're not popular fan household names, they're not going to get in. And Moore kicks to Hill with a floater. He takes it up and lays it in. Assist that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have that's why i'm offensively. like sick Much and tired of all-star voting patience. that's based on based on fan vote <laughs> oh hey i guess it pays off for some things and from the nhl it means Corey crawford doesn't have to waste his energy playing in a meaningless game 
which is what all outside of baseball, all All Star games are pointless. In the shot. He'll shoot two. <laughs> and to look at how the offensive approach has been going most of the so time you for don't really need to be out there <laughs> but they've continued to bury the jump shots something that also stands out tonight is the number of assists they have I mean that's uh, especially that's in like the NHL I'll know it's a goal fest don't even don't even need goalies just play empty net the entire time. In basketball, no one ever plays defense. He feeds it to Drummond. Johnson, wide open, he fires. And he gets it to go from the corner. Pacers leading by 16. You got it. Get the ball inside. There's a good screen. Hill drives in. Here's Turner. That's why I usually just watch, like, the skill competitions. Just and not even I couldn't tell you last time I watched the, the All-Star game itself. Yeah, you look across the board. The All-Star game is just to me a combination of the skills game. competitions. Strong performances throughout and they've really been strong on the glass. I tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over. Hill kicks to more. And taken away by ah. Johnson. And the foul called on Freak. That's foul number two for him. Pistons trailed by 16. But it probably won't change any anytime soon. So that's my opinion. I'll probably keep sticking to it. Until I become an NBA executive, I don't think I can do much about it. George passes to Hill. Out of bounds. Detroit takes possession. A temporary lapse of focus That's what I need to do. Turnover. It's embarrassing, but come the next NBA commissioner. Pistons have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Drummond the screen. The pass to Johnson. He kicks it to Jennings. Six to shoot. Drummond the screen. The drive by Jennings. Jennings can't get that one to fall. Not a bad look for him on that shot, but it just doesn't seem to be his night tonight. Ball is now here's uh, Moore. He's going by Meeks. Hill gets a screen from Moore. Hill kicks to Moore. Oh, and one. Nice. Foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. <laughs> Tell you what, if I did go work the Bulls, man, I've been wanting to take over that front office position for years. I'd probably do a better job than what those guys are doing right now. Now here's Jennings. Drummond with a screen on Lynn. It's Jennings with the drive. Moore with the Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason that they're in control. Yeah, double digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose. I'll start my start with the Bulls. And as they could make the changes there to make them dominant again. And then I'll eventually move my way up the chain to commissioner of the entire league. Sounds like a plan. I'll get on that right away. So no problem for Indiana as they get the win. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, any time you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. it really an outstanding effort all the way around. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the sideline. Doris? Boy, we cleared this arena out pretty quick. Yes, I'm here with Paul George, and Paul, a strong defensive effort for your team, and it seems like this is a major part of this team's identity. Uh, I mean, we, we we take pride in our defense. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, that's what we hang our hats on, is, uh, you know, locking down when it counts. And uh, we stayed together and pulled this one out. The 2K Sports post-game <laughs> show. Many thanks, Kevin. So now we move Many on to our thanks. Jordan player of the game, Freak. Freak. He shows just how good he can be when he's at the top of his game. And the building was stunned. You saw people Could have gotten two more points to get up towards my season average, but that's okay. 
He put on a CSDP, a crowd shut down performance. Man, that's what I'm talking about, Ernie. I can't imagine a player having a better night from the field than he had tonight. His shooting it's blocked there at the end. The Show that Henderson one. That was a great one. To get those high percentage shots. He the shot in every one. direction, and there was a little bit of luck here and there, but he was on fire. And folks, that'll wrap it up for tonight. We hope you enjoyed the game. For Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson. Have a good evening. Well, I'm thinking of it. We can head and take care of this. Get prepared for the next time. Which, of course, will be tomorrow. Check the league stats. And uh, I think that's where we'll call it for the day. Get another good three solid wins in. Ooh, gaining the, some ground there on Irving. Where am I in total rebound? Of course, yeah, I'm still behind DeAndre. Not available! <laughs> Throw. Ah! I finally jumped Dante Graves. Looks like he's had some misses there. He's dropped down 959. He was up at 981. Ha! I've reclaimed my title as the best free throw shooter in the league. Look at total points. Wow, I've jumped way up on Harden. Either they haven't played that many games or he hasn't scored that many points. He was, I was only up by, I think, seven the last time I checked. Wow! <laughs> Top five. Ah, just... There's another Lynn there. Six of the top ten plus minus players in the league are all us. In fact, our entire starting lineup is top five. But hey, when you're, what are we, 32 and 2 now? I guess that makes the case. Makes a lot of sense. Ooh, 8 and 0 in the division. Nice. We don't have any rookies on our team. We must have either not drafted anyone or traded our draft picks. I guess we would. <laughs> I guess it would have made sense that we would have traded our draft picks, probably in whatever deal brought Lynn and Olenek over. Maybe we traded draft picks there. That could be the case. Spend the off day with the fans there. Alright, well, that is going to do it for today's NBA 2K16 stream. Another successful short morning sports stream, if I say so myself. Uh, of course, I will be back again uh, tomorrow. And we will pick things up here with this home game against Orlando. Looks like we'll have a couple home games in tomorrow's stream. Orlando and the game against the uh, 76ers there. 
Uh, so, yeah, we'll pick things up tomorrow, get another good old three games in. All right, Miss Rai Rai, we'll see you in the next stream. Take care of yourself. Uh, so, just a quick rundown of everything. Twitter is at 4 Sports. YouTube is youtube.com slash dsadeathandy589. You can find all my past streams there. Any streams that I do in the future will be uploaded there. Uh, in case you miss something and you need to want to go back and watch it, you want to get caught up, check out the other content. Uh, you know, basic, <laughs> basic stuff like that. Stuff you would use a YouTube channel for uh, in terms of storing streams. Um, let's see here. If you are watching this on YouTube, feel free to hit that subscribe button and give this video a good old thumbs up. And you can also, of course, find links to the uh, various sites on the different sites themselves. That made a lick of sense. <laughs> so on Twitch in the channel description area, you can find links to my Twitter and YouTube. Of course, in the YouTube description box, you can find links to my Twitter and my Twitch channel. Uh, if you'd like to help support the stream, the ways to do so are to follow me here on Twitch and continue to come back and watch yourself. Uh, you can tip the stream, and tips basically help thing, keep things running here, covering general living costs, buying games to play on the stream, upgrading stream equipment, basic stuff like that. Uh, but of course, I'll never shake you down for money. You're always welcome to come watch the stream. But if you'd like to help out and can't donate, then just a simple share uh, would be very much appreciated with friends, family, whoever. Uh, if you're a fellow streamer, have a YouTube gaming channel, want to work out a promote for promote, just direct message me on Twitter and we can work out the details there. Again, uh, coming up this afternoon, barring the internet has not frozen. I know it's cold outside and seems to be a little sluggish here this morning, so hopefully it's still working this afternoon. Uh, the plan, sort of, kind of plan is to either jump into the um, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 beta if it's still up and running, or maybe just do Garden Warfare 1 and some Garden Ops and maybe some multiplayer in that, or maybe a completely different game too. Could be GTA 5, could be uh, Destiny, Battlefront, I don't know. Like I said, kind of just playing by ear. I'd like to do uh, Garden Warfare, so we'll, we'll see. Hopefully things work out that uh, be able to do that. So that's the plan right now. Uh, looking at tomorrow should be a normal day. Should be really normal days the rest of the week with the morning 2K16 stream and then something in the afternoon. Of course, tomorrow, uh, more than likely, the afternoon stream will be in Destiny. Uh, but again, I guess uh, plans could change. And, you know, I just got to play it by ear in the afternoon. Um, so, yeah, I don't think there's anything coming during the week that would cause me to miss or anything that I already have planned um, right now that would cause a cancellation. I guess really the only thing is if some nasty storm comes and knocks out all the power, which hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, but right now it's looking to be a normal week with uh, morning and afternoon streams, the usual Monday uh, through Thursday. So again, looking at some Garden Warfare this afternoon, and then uh, next NBA 2K6 a 16 stream will be tomorrow morning. I think that covers everything. So until the, the next time you decide to tune in, I will see you at that point. But until then, have a great day, everyone.